waited on the pirate and made them quake with fear. He buried all his booty in a far and distant land, locked safely in a treasure chest beneath the silky sand. But then the captain vanished. I don't know where or when. His treasure lost forever and never seen again. Well, that is until now. Bludgy 
you know. It was the sea that took my father away, dead I remember. There's medallions around the neck, just all you left them to remember him by. I don't want you coming in here, filling their heads with any more tales about pirate ships and treasure. But Pearl, isn't it time they knew the truth about their father? Don't start that again, dead eye. We've got enough to worry about without you stirring things up. Now, if you've quite finished, hop it. I'm closing early. She's right, of course. Stirring things up is what I do best. You know, I've been holding on to this little piece of paper for far too long. Time it found its way back to its rightful owners. Stirring things up? Why, I've only just started. Gone and good riddance, the troublemaker. Hey, what did you got back, little six? It looks like a piece of paper. It's a map, a map of an island. And look, there's an X right in the middle. It's, it's a, a treasure, treasure map. map. Of what? Give it to you. Well, how did I live and breathe? It really is a treasure map. But where on earth did it come from? We're closed! Nobody closes the door, Red Bean Pirates, do they, Lance?
find the treasure waiting to be discovered. An island where all your dreams can come true. Your father always said so. He used to dream about a distant land with treasure and mystery. He called it Lumbago. <laughs>
You mean you just joined the Navy? And you're already an admiral? It must be because an outstanding sailor, sir, an extraordinary leader of men, an inspiration to all who serve under you. No, I think it's because Dad is Commander in Chief. <laughs> Actually, 
Hello, ladies. Annie Wally and Antonia Pratt. Health and safety officers. Here's our card. I'm A Wally. And I'm A Pratt. <laughs> I'm sure you are. <laughs> her brother called Reva. She does. She was shouting in when we stole her cockle. She was shouting, leave him alone, leave him alone. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, we got away with it. No thanks to you, you just sat there in the barrow, my arm nearly dropping off. You know your problem, your cockle and no muscle. You can talk, you bone and jellyfish. What do you mean? I spent hours scraping those cockles off a boat's bottom. Yes. And now we've got to spend hours scraping them off your bottom. Get up out of there. And look at those muscles. We'll never sell them. They're tiny. That's easily sorted. Hup, two, three, four. Hup, two, three, four. <coughs> What are you doing that for? Exercise makes your muscles grow. <laughs> That's it. I've had it with this shellfish business. We need to find work. But I hate work. I hate it, I hate it, and I hate it. And you know what three hates are? No. Three hates are 24. <laughs> Whether you hate it or not, you have to work to get ahead. But I've already gone ahead. Did I hear you two are looking for work? Yes. Shut it, Slack. Yes, we certainly are. Then this is your lucky day. How would you two like to go to sea? Go to sea what? No. Go to sea. I can offer you both a job in the King's Navy. No, thank you. I get seasick just watching goldfish. Haven't you ever wanted to go to the high seas? I went to the high seas when I was a young lad. But then his voice broke. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Captain, but it just sounds too risky. Mm. Back to the team, lads. Never mind. Why don't you have a drink on me? That's very kind of you. Bottoms up. <coughs> ah! And I think your nose is a nice shiny shilling at the bo bottom of your tankards, which means you taking the king's shilling and being press gunned into my crew. Look, he's right, you devious codfish. Oh dear, I swallowed mine. <laughs> How do you feel? Like a slot machine. Maybe if I pull your arm over the jackpot. <laughs> Either way, you're now a member of my crew, whether you like it or not. Now get over to the Crunchy Frog. We're about to set sail. Captain, we're looking for a ship. It's urgent. It's called the Caribbean. Have 
You've seen it. Our mums are kidnapped by pirates after she's been taken aboard that ship. Now all your sea horses. There weren't any pirates around these parts. I know if there were. I'm captain of the crutchy frog. Then you could take us on your ship to find her. Those pirates can't have got far. Now look, there aren't any pirates. Big rats, <coughs> yes. We've got plenty of those. Pesky blighters, licking my cheese and nibbling my crackers. Ah, uh, talk of the devil. <laughs> Thank you. 
pirate ship, the curry bean. I can't help but feel this is all my fault. Kidnapped and imprisoned by bloodthirsty pirates on treacherous seas, sailing to certain doom. Great, isn't it? to make her me pirate wife. So, my dear, what shall I answer? On one trip only, then straight back to London. Pirates promise. Good. My Jack and Lisa will be wondering where I am. <laughs> Look at me. I'm not even dressed for a sea voyage. No makeup, no push frock. I should have slipped into something long and flowing like the Thames. <coughs> Nonsense. A good blusher will bring out your cheeks. A good eye, eye shall bring out your eyes. And a good sneeze will bring out your teeth. <coughs> and tell me what powder would suit my face. Good powder. <coughs> I haven't come here to be insulted. Really? Where do you usually go? <coughs> All that curry and beans. <laughs> no, you say it's void. Curse. Captain, you must know this bad luck for saying it's woman's void. Look at what this bitch is me and that. We'll all be doomed. Oh, Spout with that. She'll make a fine addition to the crew. Now get the lads out here. All pirates on deck. All pirates on deck. Look live, you scary dog. your humble housekeeper. But she's a woman! <laughs> That's a good point, Spatty Winkle. That look will become my other finger too. We don't want to know a wench on board, Captain. Tis, bad luck to have a woman in our ship. We'll be doomed, we'll be cursed. Doomed and cursed, cursed and doomed. Silence, you raging dogs! Any more of that and I'll clap you in irons!
the map. No writing on it. It's all like a strange marking. You oh. don't have a clue where you're going. Now that's where you're wrong. Those strange markings were obviously written by pirates. In pirate's code. Directions to the island that's only a pirate would understand. It even has the name of the island, doesn't it, Squawk? That's right. Now make it, here we come. Giddy! Lumbago. So it really exists. And I'm on my way there. Oh, if only my Jack and Lisa were here, we can explore it together. I hope they're all right in London. I do miss them. Look, Jack, a shooting star. Let's make a wish. There's only one thing I wish, Lisa. I wish for... Don't say it, Jack. I know. I miss her too. Admiral Horn Honker, do you enjoy your breakfast? Oh, please don't mention the subject of breakfast. Oh, I'm sorry. I won't bring it up again. No, but I think I will. <laughs> <laughs> well, Captain Horn, we've got a subject. Haven't we, Miss Pratt? Yes, Mr. Wally. And we are delighted to say that apart from a couple of small problems, you have passed. So you have our permission to set sail whenever you like. Well, that's as soon as we get off the ship, that is. This way, is it? <laughs> ah! What is that? That's the Atlantic Ocean. We're in the middle of it. You mean you already set sail? This is an outrage, sir. Time and tide wait for no man. Not even you. We'll get you back to London. Don't you worry. 
But I'm afraid we're not due back until 1730. You mean we have to wait until tea time? No, <laughs> the year 1730 <laughs> in two years. But in the meantime, you can sort out all the health and safety issues. Well, we did find one small problem. You seem to be infested with Crew, prepare to drill! 
The two ships sail from sea to sea, the crunching frog and the crow bee. And as the waves all turn and toss, their shipping lanes may never cross. But do not fear, for I have planned to lend our tail a helping hand. A breeze, a wind, a gale force to put them on collision course. Ship ahoy! Ship ahoy! A ship? Oh, how exciting! I've never seen a ship before. <laughs> Oh yes, Tilly me. Now hand over the telescope, let me look. Well, I think it might be better if I use the telescope, Admiral. <laughs> <laughs> you are, sir. A ship, Captain, to west. Let me see. Well, well, well. Looks like we might have a little sport on the way to the treasure. Well, what do you see? A ship, a tiny little ship. An itty bitty teeny weeny ship. Ooh! You've got it. Wrong way. A ship! An enormous ship! A gigantic, humong a humongous ship! Put our floppy thing up. You mean raise the flag? Certainly, sir. They've raised the flag! It's a naval ship! Send the men out of the water, Captain! Something to grub and grub on board. Let's just get with the skull and crossbones. I think they're a plane. How exciting. What is it? It looks like a big smiley face. I think they want to be friends. <laughs> now I can use one of the signal flags I made earlier. Raise my special message of greeting. <laughs> they're a plane in signal flags. Are they quaking in their boots? Are they surrendering, Captain? What do they say? They say, who are you chaps? Fancy popping over for a cup of tea and a bourbon biscuit? <laughs> Louis, raise the reply. I think they're replying. What do they say?
me too, but we'll soon get the hang of it. <laughs> Good choice, lads. Not joining us? Never. Very well. Take them below! <laughs>
right, as long as you take me to Storm. Storm!
smells like a banana. It's a signpost, you short-sighted buffoon. Oh, Miss Pratt, I think we're the only ones saved from the wreck. It's a disaster, Miss Wally. I'm starting to think we shouldn't have given the ship a certificate. <laughs> now, is everyone all right? Is anyone hurt? Any injuries? Ew. <laughs> Ew. 
Cheeky monkeys, that'll teach him. Hey, look over there, it's got all an X on the floor. X marks spot, come on, let's dig.
should have told you the truth about your father. You see, your father was Captain Swaggersaw. Wow. wow! I only wish I could remember where I buried my treasure. Without my map, we'll never find it. We don't have to dig up to our knees. <laughs> you know what they say, booty's only shin deep. <laughs> <laughs> we just need to unlock it with our skeleton keys. It's not working. Try a different key. It's not working. <laughs> <laughs> are too many keyholes and nothing fits. That's because Jack and Lisa have had the keys all the time. Our medallions. Our medallions are the keys. Come on, Jack. Thank <laughs> you. 